Okay, in this video we're going to learn about gradients. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a gradient uh, for the floor plane just to show you um, how we can very quickly create a fill for the earth on this drawing. I'll do that on the gra diagrams layer for the sake of this example. So I'm going to grab the pen in the top left um, corner of the second palette of the tool palette um, and I'm going to start drawing down here and I'm going to do this rather quickly and I'm doing this with a Wacom tablet I mentioned before. Um, you'll see if I pull my pen off and put it somewhere else how it just magically appears somewhere else. Um, it is an extremely ergonomic, you can see me jump around just by lifting the pen off and placing it somewhere else as though it were a pencil. Um, it's an extremely ergonomic way to draw uh, in Illustrator and I highly recommend you give it a go. I'll have one in the help desk, um, the workshop space uh, once a week for you to give it a go if you want to try. Anyway, I'm going to start drawing quite fast just to create some fills. And you'll notice how this is automatically and I'll just pick up that line there, the smart guide, we learned about those before and boom, we've drawn it. It wasn't too accurate so I'm going to press Z shortcut and I'm going to zoom in. I'll get my selection tool, I'll select the fill and we'll see that it isn't quite um, a perfect fill. I'm just going to hold over the pen tool and go to the add anchor point tool. Didn't show you this before. Um, very useful. I'm going to add a few points. One, two, and a third one there. I'm going to go back up to the direct selection tool and I'm going to move those points to be a bit more accurate. I'll click first, then I drag. Click once so it's selected, drag, and once more. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to get my normal selection tool, have it active, and then we'll just zoom out so we can see it. So there's a our filled object. So now let's add a gradient. In our essentials um, menu over here, you can see the gradient is represented by, I'll just click on that, the um, well, by a small gradient in a box. That brings out the gradient palette if we click on it. And just to orientate yourself around the menu, we have a few different options. In the top left, the drop down menu enables you to select some predefined and saved gradients you may have created. And you'll note we've got two main types of gradient there's the um, linear, and I'll just click off that, uh, which we can select, select in type, drop down, we've got linear and radial. Radial, you'll see from the icon, uh, is from the gradients from the center out and linear from one side to another. And we can flip that side. I'll just apply the gradient, in fact, by clicking up there. You can see the gradient has applied to our shape, um, our object, our fill. And you can see that um, the fill property in the info box is uh, representing that, um, that fill. So if we want to, while it's selected, you can see it change. Click the reverse gradient button. It just flips it from one side to the other for quickly um, changing. And now you can imagine using this for um, skies, uh, sunsets, and used with other tools like rasterize, live trace, and other other tricks you can learn in the more advanced sessions. You'll be able to do some pretty magical things with this tool. Um, angle tool, quite obviously, you change the angle. Um, it's going to come from a different direction. So this is coming from 20 degrees above um, the horizontal. We'll leave that at. I'll actually put that at 90 because that's what we want to do. Um, you, what I, what I, the effect I want to essentially create is dark at the top and then have it fade off towards the bottom. This is really great for creating panels. Uh, what I'm going to do to achieve that is I'm just going to get my direct selection tool. I'm going to select the bottom path, hold shift, start dragging and hold shift just to bring that path down a bit. We learned that in the path editing. Um, video, or was it the pen tool video? Anyway, now you'll see the gradient slider. One side we've got uh, one color. If I double click on that, you can change it. Uh, you can choose choose from a swatch your basic um, colors, and you can obviously add any swatch to this. We're going to leave it at white for the moment. But if I just uh, hit enter, sorry, we didn't have it selected. I'll double click on that. There you go. You can see you can change it and see what it looks like with all sorts of different colors. But I want to go black to white because this is a black and white drawing. 
and on the other side we can do the same with the black. You can change the opacity which is brilliant because uh, I may want to have artwork popping out from underneath this white gradient so we could change the opacity to zero and given that it's white and the artboard is white you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. I'll leave it at 100 for the moment and our location we can shift uh, according to a percentage and you'll see the white point is moving above. Now this uh, diamond um, above changes the ratio so that is looking more like what we want to create that's actually getting quite cool so if we move it to something a little bit further across oh, we can, oh, get the maximum All right, you'll see the ratio changes um, now if I hover underneath where the other gradient sliders are you'll see that a plus symbol um, pops up next to the arrow if I click that means it adds another gradient slider and you can see the ratio there's another ratio diamond to transition between each of those sliders. So I could make that a darker grey, I can make it another black, it could be a rainbow colour, and uh, you'll s uh, we can make rainbows out of it. You'll see there's a green, yellow, orange, rainbow, predefined one there. That's not what we wanted all though. Fade to black, switch it around, pop down here, and that's just black with an opacity of zero, so that is also going to be suitable and we'll press OK to that and there is our gradient